All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. Look at this beauty we got this morning. Life. Life. Love life. Life is awesome. Life is good. Life trades pretty nicely. Let's just X out this little, I hate some volume bars, but let's check this baby out. Look at this. Look at this thing go, huh? What a nice mover. Beautiful after, right going into the close, really strong, 330, nice push, went from 790 all the way up to, it didn't want to stop to 950, great, great mover, and look, it's moving again this morning in pre-market. Uh, we had the watch list. I know I'm just going to bring it up. I think everyone could see it in YouTube and Facebook Live. But um, I mean, in the trading room, but just put in that time slot This is why you guys got to join the trading room. I know you guys are watching this on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Like, how'd you guys find that stock? Uh, well, listen, you logged in early, early bird gets the money. That's the lingo we go by. But what a nice little mover right there and is quite awesome. So I know you guys did really, really well on that trade. So um, life is good. I like that grand. Isn't that awesome? Life is good. So anyway, what a nice little mover on that stock. Uh, beautiful stock, almost about 100% on a swing trade. But we'll talk a little more about that uh, before. We, so let's go talk about what happened yesterday. So um, yesterday was a couple of nice moving stocks. You had to hit them early. And then they did these nasty shakes. Um, I actually did. Um, I was actually, I did starting to do pretty well. And then I got caught on a damn trap. And I actually lost money yesterday. I was so ticked off at myself. You know what? I and, and you know what? Sometimes I break my own rules. You know, I was, it, it, what happens? You get into the despite a spite of the moment around that. You know, once we got past that ten thirty, uh, and all of a sudden, you know, I, I jumped into this one trade. I'm like, oh my god! I'll tell you the stock what it was because it was on the watch list. Uh, you know, actually, I'll tell you what now instead of going through it was OCGN. This thing really, you know what? I was doing well, and this stock was a late bloomer. You guys caught on to this. This thing just all of a sudden, right around like 10 15, the thing ran from 720 and then it shot up all the way up to here around 850. And then, um, you know, and then I got in a little bit late. And then, sure enough, when I got in there, the thing just literally just tanked. And just did a nasty shake. And you know what? It, it did go back up. I probably would have broke even and would have been back where I was. But you know what? Look at it. It, 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 it dropped all the way down to $8 and it went all the way back to eight seventy. But what? At, at eleven forty, I'm not sticking around to eleven forty. You know what I mean? And we know as traders, that usually doesn't very rarely ever happen. You know, when you, I mean, the stock went up so nicely. It was a great trading stock. Nice spread, a nice everything. But sure enough, I know some of you guys caught in it, uh, you know, did well on it, but um, but I don't know. It happens, right? We all we all make mistakes, and you know what? Remember, the big thing that we teach at Cybertrade University is not how to make money; it's how to how to stop losing it. It's controlling losses, and I tell you, there's so many times that we've seen things like this, and they come crashing down. Actually, TCAT was one of them yesterday too. Bonnie, that happened. I uh, got a, a, bit, a bit you too, Bonnie. You know, I'm glad that you guys admit it. No, you know what? I, I get so sick and tired of hearing people come, talk about how much money they made, and nobody talks about the losers. You know, what I mean, we all lose. You know what? I've been losing for 25 years, but my winners outdo my losers. That's why I'm still in business. You know, that's why I keep doing what I'm doing. I love trading. Okay. You know, I'm not a, a, a huge trader. I tell you guys that all the time. I'm a consistent trader. And I think a lot of people that we teach, just like you, just want to just get by, make supplemental income. This is not about like, you know, you know, putting, you know, 10,000 on, on red. You know what I mean? All your money and I hit, oh, look, I made money on at the casino table and boom, you know, so and uh, now that all of a sudden the casinos are the best things in sliced bread. You don't want to treat this like a casino. You want to treat this like a business. So anyway, a couple of the stocks also did. One of them did really well. And uh, uh, the ATER will bring that one. So AT that one took a that one was a really nice mover. She got pretty nasty though. So right out of the gate, the stock had a great run up. Right at you could see it right there at nine thirteen. The stock literally ran up at nine thirty. The stock just popped from fourteen twenty. Shot up all the way up to about nineteen dollars. Um, and you know what was great about this stock? This was such an easy trade right here. Look at this was a, you know what? But it had. And I know it, 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 it did catch some of you and it did bite some of you because this stock, 
had some was pretty damn volatile too. And for some of you here that are new, I know we have a lot of trial members. I know some of you watching on YouTube and Facebook. Um, some stocks are, you know, the, the the number one thing we teach in class. The first thing, the most important thing, is the first T. There's three T's you learn: tradable, trend, and trap. The first T, if the stock is not tradable and, is, and its stock is too volatile for you, then you shouldn't be trading it. Yes, you can make a lot of money, but yes, where there's high money, there's my high risk. Believe me, there's a lot of stocks that moved yesterday that were a lot more comfortable, a lot more consistent, but um, but this one was moving pretty volatile. But let me, let me bring this up. The most great about this stock right here was this. It was the Fausto flag. And I called it out in the cyber group room and I said, guys, you got to look out. It looks like a Fausto flag is being built right here. And sure enough, you know, from 945 up 1015, you know, we had this pretty nasty wick right there. Look at the stock went from 1470 to 1640 in one minute. That's pretty damn volatile. God, be you own a thousand shares. That's a thousand dollar loser right there. But look at it. Boom. And all of a sudden it started consolidating, which we cover in phase two and phase three. And then bam, you know, right around, right around 10, 15, then goes from 17, shoots up right to 19, game over. Thank you very much. You know, thank you, cyber trading. We'll see you tomorrow. That's what trading is all about. So anyway, that was a really nice trade, the AT, uh, AT, ATER. Uh, SDC was another one. This one was nice. It was a nice slow mover. Nice little trend. You could see it there from 930, ran from like 520 all the way to about $6. Once again, a little slow, but nice. We're going to check that back later. Yes, I know. I could see that. Life is moving amazing. So let's go to life because life obviously was on our watch list. So life is doing, just made a nice little pop right here. And I'll tell you what's going on. For some of you, uh, today, we're going to be doing a new open house at 2 o'clock. So I know that people can't always show up on Thursday. So we moved our open houses to Tuesday. So at 2 o'clock, we'll talk a little bit more about it. Please go out there and share it with everybody. But let me just show you what we got going on right here on the big watch list. There was a big, big order right here that just got filled around $12.00. Guy got executed. You could see all the green balls. And then a consolidation, another Fausto flag. Boom, things just shot up to about 12, 12, 30. So granted, if you missed it, you know, right around here when we originally started around 8 o'clock when it was at 1030 or yesterday when it was at 5, listen, the trend is your friend. You don't buck the trend. You have to follow the money. That's how you make money in trading. So anyway, that stock obviously is going to be on the watch list, but there's a couple of more we're going to bring out. CCNC is another one. Um, I thought the stock was pretty interesting because the stock took a huge hit. Some of you remember we traded stock in February. It ran from like a dollar fifty, ran to about eleven twenty. Not only was it a good day trade, it became a good swing trade. Um, I was just looking at it and I said, you know what? It's up about eight percent. You know, volume is pretty good. I don't know if it's going to really be a you know, a good mover. You know what? It, it, she just started backing off. I'm going to put this on the B list. And we all know what that is. PROG, another one. Stock, very inexpensive, very cheap. Nice level one stock. Good for you, dear the headlight traders. Somebody's a little scared. This stock, obviously, nice trend, nice spread. If it does a gap fill, uh, this stock could go up to about a buck fifty. you know? And you could also trade a lot of, a lot of shares of it. For, for you advanced traders. Now, there are some stocks that are getting crushed. Remember I was talking yesterday about overnights? Okay, so the writing is on the wall. You wake up, you know, RDHL goes from $7. We trade, went to 11. Guess what? Could you imagine, listen, major resistance levels back in February. A lot of you, if you go back to the tape and you go back to your journals and you took your notes and if you looked over there on level four, you will see the stock had a major, major iceberg order, $11. And it did exactly that and it backed off. And let me tell you, I think everybody in the cyber group room, well, maybe not all of you, maybe a half of you, we all know we traded this stock. If you held that stock right now, you would have been crushed. You want to hold overnight positions. You don't want to take a loss at 10. You wake up the next morning at nine. Oh, could have sold at 10. Wake up the next morning, opens up at eight. What do I do? I can't afford that loser. Now it's at seven. You wake up, boom, you're down at four. What do you do next? You're out of business. It's pharmaceutical stock. You know, we know they don't come back. Another stock that's getting hammered, hammered. Um, 
Oh, no, I'm sorry. This stock is not going to happen. There's another stock. Uh, I, uh, there's two more stocks we're going to talk about them. And that's obviously been the big news on TV if you haven't checked it out. But NNVC, nice stock, nice trend, nice cheat, nice spread, nice level one stock so far. It looks like it. 7 million shares, up 21%. Um, just going over here and check on the level four. The only concern I have right here is you had a couple of big iceberg orders showing up around 530 and 545. I mean, not a lot. I mean, most people out there are trading like 1,000, 2,000 shares, but you got about a 23,000 and a 10,000 share seller. That's probably the reason why it's kind of like had a little bit of a, a resistance right there around 540. Now, the big news that's going on this morning, and you probably, if you've done your homework, which you should have, um, and I hate doing your homework for you, but... I don't know what's going on with casino stocks. They're getting hammered right now, okay? Las Vegas, you can see it, $70 stock, not doing too well. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, all these stocks are in the big, uh, on the big watch list, on the big loser side. Win, win, you know, getting really beat up. So be careful with these casino stocks. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're worrying about lockdown. Maybe they're going to be forcing old everybody in Nevada, you know, to say, hey, you want to come into the casino? You got to have a COVID, you know, a card. You had to you know, show proof of ID, whatever it is. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, listen, if you got 75% of the people are vaccinated, 30% of them, you know, and now are, are, you know, now now we're going to be fighting back and says, now I'm not being mandated. I don't want, you know, that that 30 percent could really hurt the, the, the bottom line. Lies companies don't work on a huge profit. So, um, you know, keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on airlines. You know, let's see what happens moving forward. But I think there's going to be a lot of good volatility is going to be coming on regarding about this new mandate that they came out with. Uh, I was looking at some of the and, you know, what's crazy is that, you know, when we looked at some of the, you know, the you know, like uh, a lot of the, you know, the, the, the virus stocks, you know, out here, the vaccine stocks, they really didn't, they got crushed yesterday. So, I mean, they're up a little bit today, but I don't know if I really buy into that. Anyway, that's our watch list. So we're going to be spending a lot more time of it. Josh at 11 o'clock is doing traders talk. So if you, uh, if you want to be able to don't go anywhere after class, you know, after we trade with done talking this morning at 1030, you two people, you could always come and join us. And uh, just like us and friend us, you can always do a trial, join the trading room. But if you're a cyber group member, we're going to do traders talk. Josh is going to ask everyone to send you his journals. He's going to pick somebody and we're going to go over what, what happened. And you know, that's one of the most exciting part about being in the cyber group room. It's one of the packages you get being, you know, being part of the team. We do it once a week. And then at two o'clock, I will be back doing a, a live event talking about how to shout at these big brokerage firms and how they do these reverse shakes and all that stuff. You can always join us. And then, uh, and obviously we got the last hour. Let's just make our money quick. Two big things I want to bring up. Uh, there's a, a couple of YouTube people are bringing up something. You know, you, you know what? I saw the big trade. Okay. Listen, where are you getting big? Where are you getting big? A huge short, uh, short interest. Um, uh, think that there may be a big short squeeze coming. Listen, stock is trending down. All right. That ship has gone and sailed. All right. You know what? We were trading that stock, you know, weeks ago. Yes. Now you're hearing people all over the internet talking about it and everything else. There's a short squeeze in anything that goes from 250 to 1250. Okay. That that's like saying you had a company that was worth, you know, let's say your 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 house is worth, I'll make it very simple. Your house is worth, you know, a million dollars. Now all of a sudden, overnight, it's worth 10 million. Wait, you're not gonna sell it? You're not gonna sell it? You know, there's short squeezes in everything, but unfortunately, nobody's buying a house for 10 million, right? So, but it was stock that there every day. Yes, is there a short squeeze? Listen, it, it, there's short squeeze in a lot of stocks that we trade, which is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. The, the bad thing is you don't want to be caught holding the bag. And that's why you got to know how to take your profit. And if you bought at five and you sold it at 550, big deal. Oh, but it went to 11. Yeah. You know how many people got crushed on that? So don't make that mistake. One last stock I want to bring up really quick for another person on YouTube is asking me about F-Cell. So F-Cell's got a huge, nice pop. Great call on that one. Love the trend on that. I would like to follow the money and see where it's going on. Let me get, let me just check on level four before we go. But F-Cell is definitely making the watch list. The only reason why I did not find it is because you know, oh, you know what? She's right there. Now I see her. She's the big fourth percentage gainer on the watch list. Very good call right there. F-Cell, 
Um, okay, so we got a, we just got a, a, a decent buyer just showed up uh, right around six uh, fifteen for about twenty eight thousand. You got about a nine thousand share seller right around six thirty. Uh, there is an actual big, big iceberg order right now, and I'll show it to you right here. There's about a 40,000 share seller right now that's sitting around eight, uh, 650. So it's got to break that 650. Then you can see there, there's other lines here. So these orders just popped up right around 9 o'clock. So uh, could be a little bit of a short squeeze right there. So if f cells moving, looks like some of the other stocks are basically going to probably follow suit. All right, so good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Be safe. Don't get too cocky. Take the money and run. And we'll see you back here at 11 and then at 2 o'clock uh, for my meeting. Good luck, everyone. Happy and be safe.